Missed it, dude, but that's a big fish. That's a big fish. fish. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at this, dude! The Western Native Trout Initiative Challenge involves catching 18 species of trout and char across 12 states in the U.S. Every episode, we will try to catch a different species. Follow along as we attempt to complete the whole challenge with Tenkara rocks. Now the nice thing about What do you think, dude? You think it's gonna be high? I don't know, man. I think this spot could be good. Looks... Everything's been so blown out right now. Oh, it looks good, right? It looks pretty clear, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Nice. This will work. Yeah, this looks fishable. So everything's been just so chocolatey and blown out. It's been a... Oh, there's an eat. It's time to fish, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, cameraman's got to get protected too, right? <laughs> right there, buddy. Just, hit, just getting a little spray on my arms, you know? Today, we're going to try and knock off the Yellowstone Cutthroat off of the WNTI list. If you don't know what that is, I just have to have one right here. <laughs> <laughs> As you probably know, there's been a lot of moisture this year. So a lot of the creeks are blown out, the rivers are high, and we've just been driving around looking for a place to fish and we finally found this spot and it looks pretty fishy. This creek is open for fishing and we're gonna try and catch some Yellowstone cutthroat today. Dude, what do you think? Should I go sawtooth rod or white cloud? I go more like sawtooth. Yeah, looks a little... A little bit bigger. If we hit that creek, maybe I'll grab yeah, this one. Yeah, there's a small creek that pours into this that would be perfect for yeah. the white cloud. Sawtooth it is. What's your setup today? My setup today is pretty simple. It's a little golden stone called a chubby Chernobyl. And that's it. You can tie a dropper on, they'll eat, they might eat the dropper. I don't know. Again. I have the sawtooth. I'm doing... So I'm going to do an eight foot level line. And then I have a pretty long, like, I don't know, what is that, like three feet of tippet. And I'm just fishing a little kabari. We haven't seen any fish yet, except for one rise when we first got here. And uh, so hopefully this will bring them up. And if not, we have other flies, we'll switch them out and see what works. Kind of when we start, we just try a bunch of different things until we figure out what they're kind of keyed in on or what's working. And then we'll both fish that usually. So we don't really know where the fish are going to be in the system, so we're kind of just working our way downstream and we're going to fish kind of quickly, just like hit these holes until we actually catch a fish and then we kind of will know where they're at. Otherwise, if we fish for a while and we don't get any fish, we'll move up and we'll just kind of work our way either up or down depending on where they're at. waving around my lightning rod out here. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hard to believe, but like, Seriously, half an hour ago, it was raining and hailing pretty hard. And now, good old Idaho, it's just sunny and nice and warm. So the river came up, it got a little more off color. We're just gonna try it though. We still haven't got to give it a really good try yet. It just, we came out, it started raining really hard. So this is kind of our first real good shot at it. See how it goes. Fishing is not good yet, but I think these fish, they just need the, the sun to pop out. You know, they need some nice weather to really start eating those dry flies again. See, that osprey likes this hole. She likes it. 
saying, hey, you know, I think you got something here. This is too fast. I'm gonna do a little lift. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you go out and don't catch fish, you probably quit. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I just fell in. <laughs> Yeah! I got it! Alright. Check. Big fish. That's a big fish. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Eat again. Eat again. Oh. That's it! No. Yes! <laughs> yes, it's him! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh. Dude, that was so good. Oh, dude, look at that fish. Oh, yeah! <laughs> look at this, dude! Look at that cutty just sipping dries. Are you kidding? For the Yellowstone, look at that belly on this guy. He's a fatty. He's got a problem. You need to cut it back, dude. Oreos. That was a, such a nice set. Oh, that was. So you waited so long to set. Wow, what a what a specimen of a Yellowstone cutty that we come here to catch. You know, like that's it. That's what we're looking for. That red cheek. It's a good one. Super spotty. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. They come up and eat a big old dry fly. So maybe like an osprey got to him? Look at the scars right there. What are you doing, Juno? I'm just trying to get that double going for us here, boys. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. Getting that double. That here. little guy ate the dropper. That'll get him, dude. Sometimes before one hits it, so. <laughs> you get another one? <laughs> well, this is an okay day of fishing. You know, it started off a little tough. We had a big hailstorm come through on us. So we had to sit in the van for a little bit, but then we got some fish uh, just before dark. Rain's kind of rolling in again, but Drew found a bunch of morel mushrooms. So we're gonna be cooking up some mushrooms. We got a little fettuccine Alfredo. We got a good little concoction going on tonight. He's got to get his runs in. <laughs> he just has to run every once in a while. He just that itch to start running. What I learned at Le Cordon Bleu is nothing because I did not go to Le Cordon Bleu. How are we looking? We're looking very morelli right now. Uh, getting a good saute on these with some butter. 
that's really about all you need, right? I mean, Drew's the he's the pro morale cook. Right, just kind of just cooking out the water right now, and then uh, a little more butter on there. We got the noodles already with the, you know the white sauce. I'm gonna we'll toss the morels in there. And... right here. I just feel it today. It's gonna be good. Sun's gonna come out. Last night, or yes, yeah, yesterday we were fishing towards the end of the day. They were crushing a little black woolly bugger. They ate it so much that it fell apart. So uh, we're gonna try that today. And uh, I think with the sun popping out, they're gonna start crushing some big dries too. Look at this woolly bugger. They absolutely destroyed it. This was the ticket. We only fished this for probably 30 minutes and they were just crushing it every time. That's gonna be it today. You got more of those, right? I thought you brought them. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday evening, we started fishing streamers and it went really well. And then it started raining again. So um, this morning we called up the shop guys and told them to come out because fishing was gonna be good. So they came out and we're gonna go catch some fish. Let's rock! <laughs> so fast. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it coming. What's in there? He's caught like probably five or six fish out of this little hole. Like we keep thinking it's done and then he throws it in and gets another one. <laughs> what summertime's all about, riding in the back of the truck, going from hole to hole, just hitting some good fishing spots. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes right now, but thanks for watching everybody. We were able to get our Yellowstone cutthroat trout, Drew and I. We were able to have the guys from the shop come out and get some fish too. It was a good day, even with all the hail and weather we had last night. Today, uh, fished pretty good. Seemed to get a little bit better as the day went on, so thanks for watching.